Oh, nice, and some Mazatwati over there. Beautiful. I dicked one of them in one of my old pulsars once. It was just the same as that actually, except it was silver. I think that's called the Quattroporte, Maserati Quattroporte, Coupe or something, I can't remember. Anyway, this was my uh, fourth Pulsar and it was running 395 horsepower and 411 foot-pounds of torque. It was built by Perfect Touch and mapped by Tweeny Rob, may you rest in peace. And it was a rapid car. I'm driving this thing to work, okay? I worked at Tesco at the time. I must have been... 20 years old, I guess. It was early. It was about half six in the morning. I was driving to work and uh, I noticed in my rear view mirror, there's like no one on the road. By the way, it's completely dead. And uh, I noticed this car come up behind me, silver car, like the fucking clappers. Boom, straight up my ass. And this was in summertime, so the sun is already up, it's light. And uh, I saw the driver, right? It was this uh, older guy. I mean, I assumed he was older because he had white hair combed backwards with sunglasses on, okay? Cock, basically. It's cock. And uh, he shot right up my ass, and my car was loud. It was loud because it had a three inch turbo back exhaust. And this guy obviously thought, look at this chav wagon, piece of shit. I'll show this kid a thing or two with my like 80 grand Maserati. So he comes right up my ass. And then he drops back, and then he comes right up my ass again. And he does this about four times accelerates hard up my backside and then drops back and then accelerates hard up my backside and then drops back and uh, I was just watching him just keeping an eye on him just cruising along and then we reach this junction right where he stops behind me and I look at my rear view directly at the guy for a little while a few seconds just looking at him no expression on my face because I, I don't like to show anyone that they're annoying me for any reason so I'm just looking at the guy blankly and uh, he revs his car and I was like okay Rick. Anyway, lights turn green, we both turn right, and uh, off I go, not fast, just as usual, just pull away, change into second gear, and then just hold the revs at about three and a half thousand, right, because at the time, my car would hit peak boost at about 4,200 RPM, so I'd be hitting about 1.6, 1.7 bar, so I'm holding my revs just there, and lo and behold, he pulls out for the overtake. Immediately, wastes no time, nothing coming the other way, dead, road's completely dead, Pulls out, puts his foot down, goes to overtake. And I'm not proud of this, because it is stupid. It is childish. But as soon as he reached next to me, I put my foot down. And the car shot off like a fucking rocket, like it did. And I left him on the wrong side of the road. So he just had to pull back in again, behind me. And that was it. I was only about two minutes away from work at that point. Uh, so I turned off at the next junction, and he carried on going. And uh, had a great day. I had a great day. Stupid, childish, wouldn't recommend anyone do it because it is illegal, obviously, but good God, it was fun. It was fun. This guy in his 80,000 pound Mazaswati got dicked by a kid in a, like a 20 year old Nissan Sunny. Fuck you, mate. God, it felt good. Don't do it. Well done. You f <laughs> What's wrong with people? Am I invisible with my bright red jacket on and my lights on and stuff? Jesus Christ. Professional driver, my ass. Anyway, people, I'm gonna go home now. I need a coffee. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you guys again before Christmas. I'd like to think that I would. Thank you so much for all of your support. And uh, as usual, I've been Smo. You guys have been awesome. I'll catch you in the next video, if not the Christmas Day stream or the New Year's Eve stream, if you're around.